Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In the previous tutorial, we have created a project for LED blinking. But in this program, we are going to create a project for a push button as well as an external interrupt. So the push button will be uh, initialized into the external interrupt mode and when we will press the push button, uh, LED blinking will change its frequency. So here we need to pass a variable into the hall delay. Suppose that let's make it a T delay, a variable and uh, for that I have to define a T delay variable and I can define those varia private variables here. Let's make it unsigned int. Okay. Uh, that is the T delay. Let's make it 250 millisecond from the first time. And uh, now, uh, before that, I have to change uh, my STM Cube MX uh, project where I need to add extra pins that is connected with the push button. And uh, that pin is uh, PA0, which is connected with the push button. So, find the PA0 and it is here. I need to make it as a external interrupt ok and uh, here you can see when I made it as external interrupt uh, some of peripheral has become into the yellow that means these pins this pin was multiplexed with these uh, uh, functions that's mean uh, now these functions are not available to use here see you can see IN0 and here also the uh, analog input 0, analog input 0 and into the ethernet mode is disabled, we cannot use ethernet mode ok and the timer 5 is also unavailable ok so now we need to configure our GPIO this GPIO uh, GPIO PA0 it is initialized as external interrupt mode that means we need to um, enable NVIC interrupt ok and then also we can change here priority let's make it one priority and click on ok let's regenerate our code ok and close it as I have already mentioned if we add code at a proper place our code won't loss if we regenerate code from STM Cube MX ok so let's reload it see these codes are here as it is fine so now we have uh, added our external interrupt into the code we can see here external interrupt IRQ handler now we need to add extra code here ok so here what we need first of all that we need to add some delay for a button debouncing remove button debouncing effect int i is equal to 0 and let's make i is equal to the 65535 and then i plus plus ok now let's check if push button is high so we, we need to write our uh, GPIO pins which are connected with the push button and uh, that is available with the GPIO read pin ok so here we can call hall underscore GPIO read pin ok and that is GPIO A and the pin number that means GPIO pin it is GPIO pin 0 ok now if it is 1 then what we need to do here if T delay which is already predefined equal to 250 then we need to make T delay equal to 1000 fine and uh, else we need to make a T delay equal to 250 and let's close the VAS it means if T delay equal to equal to 250 then it will change to the 1000 that's when if t, if t delay is not uh, 250 ok if t delay is not 250 then it will become a 250 
So here you can see the t delay is not defined here because we have defined t delay into the main function so that we need to redefine it here into the external mode. So the external okay so u int 16 and uh, t delay okay so we have redefined here now we can compile our code okay let's upload it to the microcontroller okay now uh, let's let's see uh, first of all that I need to press uh, reset button then it will start to blink when I press uh, this user button see when I press reset button sorry if when I press user button it changes its frequency of toggle okay see when I again press it changes when I again press it changes okay so in this tutorial we have uh, we have seen how to toggle LED and how to enable external interrupts and uh, push button into STM32 F4 discovery board so thanks for watching this video tutorial and stay tuned for the next tutorial where we will interface ADC and DSC together. Thanks for watching.